Okay, here we are in Uncle Jerry's house, Phil. We're about to uh, check his garden and see what he got going on in here. We got about to, he's about to show us how to pick a watermelon. We're going to yeah. see. He's going to show us a special trick to pick the best melon and make sure it's sweet with a straw. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Well, we're going to try, though. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright y'all, we're over here with Uncle Jerry Dale. Howdy, what? howdy. <laughs> and he's about to show us how to pick the perfect watermelon from the patch. Hey, I didn't say nothing about perfect. I said a ripe <laughs> watermelon, not a perfect well, watermelon. Well, uh, okay, ripe, good, a good melon from the patch. So, yeah. here we go y'all. We're gonna follow him and do your thing, Uncle. Alright. We're gonna find out where the stick is for, Yeah, I'm curious about this stick. Yeah, me too. I hope we don't get beat with it. I don't want to get beat, uh, these, uh, beat up with the stick. These two rows right here are the first two that I planted. And I I started them indoors yeah. back in February. That's why I've got uh, melons right now. Normally, after the 4th of July is when you really have a lot of melons. So, uh, we're going to go right down between these two rows right here. I can get the sweat out of my eyes. See, we got the uh, pretty watermelons. Look what the stick's for. <laughs> oh, that's why. For lazy people. Uh, what you do, you see? find out. You can get the snake bit. <laughs> it, exactly, there's a snake laying all in here. I've seen a snake. But then you- uh, Cause you got a stick. Yeah, I got a stick. <laughs> then what you do, you find the, the curl on it. To see if the curl's dead. Right, see, there's the curl right there. See where the stem's going to the vine? Yep, put your finger on it. And... Stem's going to the vine. There's the curl right there. It's starting to die, so that means it's getting ripe. It should be ripe in a, about four or five days. Okay. That's a bad looking watermelon. I'm gonna leave it for a day or two. It looks like a zucchini. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to stir fry. There's watermelons all in these weeds. <clears throat> I was trying to find a, a little one with a balloon still on it. I don't see one right off hand. And there's another pretty melon. That's a big one. Right. And there's a curl on it, dead. So that watermelon there should be right. Okay. We're going to look for a couple of more though to make sure we got a good one. And also, I use this limb to throw my watermelon vines back up out of the uh, walkway. Oh. That's very worth it. A lot of people do all that shit bending over. I, <laughs> I try not to bend over if I don't have to. Nope. 
curl on that and still green. Well, if that one there is dead, so that one there is probably ripe too. But I think what you wanted to do was do the, the uh, straw thing, huh? Yeah, we want to see you try the straw trick on. All right, let's go out here and get a straw. And we'll do that. Yeah, curl deal on that. Yeah, I've got several that I'm going to be able to sell this next weekend. Where do you want laying all in here? Oh, they're rotten. Look at there, what a melon. Do that one. All right, see so curl on it? Yep. Curl is dead. That means the watermelon is ready to uh, harvest. Go to processing plant. That's the kitchen. Well, they have pretty ones laying in here. That's a big one there, and the curl still green is gourd on it. See the curl on it? Yep. Right there? And these are your Charleston Grays? Charleston Grays. Yeah, I know that one's that's got a, a huge one right there. Oh yeah, yeah, it's got a dead stem on it. No, well, see, it's not, it's not uh, all dead the way, all man. the way yet. So you still got a little bit of green right there. Yeah. So that still lasts a couple of days. On this tree? No. This field no? Oh. Uh, looks like kiwi. Oh, uh, crab apple? Crab apple. There you go. <laughs> crab apple. Now, these are not the ornamental crab apples. That's the these native. Get, these get about that big, and when they get good and ripe, mm, they're good. But it's hard to catch them good and ripe. The squirrels and stuff get them. Boy, it's loaded. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. And you see that uh, bushy tree right there? Yeah. You know what that is? Iron old oh, cherry? Nope. What's that? That's a slow. Oh, whoa. slow. Slow uh, plum? Slow plum, yeah. yeah. Well, let's go out here and get a straw. Well, let's look at those uh, Kajari melons. Okay. Real quick while we up this way. Get it. I put a little fertilizer to it and made it go nuts, didn't it? Yeah, it's looking good. Now, what kind are these? These are uh, tender sweet orange. Tender, tender sweet. sweet orange. That's the last watermelon I planted right there. And that's okra over there. It's fixing to start blooming, I think. I'll have to get over and spray the damn birds before it starts blooming. Yeah. Yeah, you got those buds all over it. Yeah, mine's just right behind yours. It's coming. That heat's really getting it going. Desert King Yellow Meat. That's the only two plants I got. Well, actually, I got one more up in another garden, but you don't want to be no little bit of plant. Sorry, Melon, I'm going to go over and find a straw. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> you missed that. Nah, I saw him. Oh, I heard him. I don't think I got on film. 
I'm admiring these Kajari melons. These are Indian Kajari melons. I didn't do the big garden this year, so I planted them. And my neighbor got the seeds for us, but y'all can Google them and see what they look like when they're ready, but that's what they look like now. That size. There's some smaller one in here. Smaller one you can see there. Similar to a cantaloupe, but it's a, they say a cross between like a honeydew and a cantaloupe. More there, but they turn a red where the green is. They have a red or orange stripe on them. But, oh, here's a pretty good size one. Let's see. Your hands, yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah, I can't wait to try those. But yeah, done really good. Out of 20 seeds they gave him, I think 22 germinated, huh? <laughs> Yeah, every one of them germinated. Yeah, that's awesome. What a pretty one. You see that one? Yeah. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Satori melons. Kajari. Kajari? Kajari Indian melons yeah, from India. All right, you find a straw? You got the straw, huh? Right okay. here. You got the straw. All right, well, let's go check a melon. It'd be easier to spray some malathion on it. I don't know about smoking malathion though. No. I probably wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <sighs> Oh yeah. Added me a lot of sun in over here. I cut this tree. Uh -huh. A couple back over here for the evening sun. Like I figured this was too shady. Trimmed all these lower limbs, make me a picnic area. What I, what I was thinking about doing is pulling my little trailer right here. To load watermelons and park it. No, I'm talking about my RV. Oh, <laughs> get with the program. Yeah. Whew. That's quite a few little in it. Yeah, a little bit. This is a uh, a pretty yellow is what they what it said on the package. So it's a yellow meated melon. Yeah, I got a damn horse fly after me. <laughs> now he's after you. Good deal. Oh, kill it! Ah, I missed him. You got to be faster than that. I know it. I usually get them, but anyway, <laughs> pretty yellow is what that's called. Pretty yellow. <laughs> yeah. Pretty yellow. You know, I, I cut one the little one that was ripe, and it was good and crunchy oh, and yeah. sweet. I see some more all through there too. Yeah, there's uh, several of those in that little quad right there. Come check this one right here, Miss Jasmine. Yeah. Look at 
is it? I'm not bigger than my head. That's a good for me. Right, there's the curl. And it's dead all the way up to the mine. All right, take your straw. Me? Yeah. I thought you were about to do it, not and, me. And lay it across. My hands are too wet. Uh, lay it across, right in the middle. Lay right? it across it. Lay it across it. Now you can just like that. Turn loose. Turn loose. <coughs> like that? Why is it supposed to do Well. Me, I don't got it too wet. But I'm, I'm sweating. Because you're supposed to just lay that straw on there. Yeah. And it'll turn. Really? It's wanting to turn now. See it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, look, well, look at that. Oh, I believe. I ain't <laughs> eating that watermelon. <laughs> too far to the end yeah, now. Need to be right you in the middle. Up higher. Oh, look at it trying to turn. Look at that. Oh, wow. See that, Look at that, hey, you see? Yes. And what that means? Oh, it means it's right. It means it's sweet. Really? Look at, oh, wow. I've never seen that before, I have to say. I'm sweating. What you think about that? I don't know, I ain't eat it that watermelon. <laughs> yeah, what, you think it got some bad juju? Yep. Go pull that watermelon and get it. Come on. Look at all the bugs right there. Oh, the what? The bugs. Stink oh, these? bugs. Yeah, those are no good. Bad bugs. Mm -hmm. Get it. Oh. What? Pick it up. What do you want me to do? Just put the straw? No, pick the watermelon. Get the watermelon. Get uh -oh. the watermelon? Oh, what? Oh, get the watermelon. Right. It's loose. All right, hold this. Hold the straw. <laughs> You got it? Yeah. Uh, what does the bottom look like? Let's look at the bottom of it. Turn it. Turn. Come on. There you go. Right there. It looks good. White bottom. Got the little tracks in it. Should be good. Should be All good. Right. There you go. Follow him. We're going to find out. No break. Take Take the watermelon. Me. Yeah, take it. it. We're going to cut it. You got it? Yeah, I got it. You sure you're strong enough? Yeah. Is it heavier than a 23-pound blue catfish? Yeah. No, it no, ain't. It might be the same. About the same, probably. Nah, probably less. Yeah, I don't know what it can weigh. I have a really weight in it. Hey, watch that limb. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some blackberries on that line there. Why didn't you pick them? There's no blackberries there no more. Ooh, got some pretty tomato plants. It was some left. Yeah, it's some left. Too Look, good. right there. Yeah, that ain't no good. And bugs don't eat them. I hate eating after bugs. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna leave my corn over yonder. Yep. I got some field corn and sweet corn. And I'm gonna sell that corn and there's gonna be a free fish bait with every ear. No, oh, y'all heard it here first. A free <laughs> fish bait with every ear. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I heard a man say uh, a couple years ago said if it, it was a ear of corn that a worm wouldn't eat, he didn't want to eat it. <laughs> Made good sense to me. That was actually that year when I had all that corn, that sweet corn with no worms, remember? And you was having all the worms, yeah. and I was bragging about it. 
That was Royce Lynn Johnson. Said, I'd rather have a ear of corn that a worm eat than an ear of corn a worm won't eat. All right, here we go. Get out of the way, Dot. <laughs> Well, it's gonna be hot, but we gotta test this straw theory. You wanna try it again? We can. Look at where you hit. Look, watch. <laughs> Let me see. Let me try this. Look, look, look folks. I ain't. And I'm telling you that. That. Uh, look, it's. I would look at that. Ooh. I have never seen this before. Dot, how about you go on somewhere? Go. Come on, Sue, get. Get. Get over yonder. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this straw moving on its own. Yeah. See him That is unfreaking believable. Hot. Look at this. Yeah, but this is still, it's not still, not like a real good. Right, look, it's still trying to move. It's getting close. Look at wow! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at, that. Look, oh, at look at that! See how fast it moves! Look at look at it! That is amazing. That's that's kind of tripping me out. <laughs> I never seen that before. I eat that watermelon. You scared okay. of it? Yeah, it might have some poison. It. Nah. That means it's a good water balance. Well, look at that. It's still moving. Let's find out. Look. It is not wet because I'm sweating. Who wants to cut it? Cut it. You cut it. You, cut you it. grew it. We're about to find out about the straw trick right now. Oh, looks oh, look like at that. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah, yeah buddy. It may work, folks. Baby. Look at that. Well, cut us some chunks. We'll see. What's up? Oh, my Just hand dirty. Ah. <laughs> Go ahead, take your hand. You need some uh, bacteria to build yeah, your immune system. Yeah, bacteria is good. Mm -hmm. Mm, it's sweet. It's sweet. You mean I grew a sweet watermelon? Folks, that melon is sweet. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Boy, it is good, ain't it? Mm. It is. Wow. Man. I just like if it was cold. I'm telling you, that, that's a hot melon straight out of the field, folks. On a 100 degree day. And uh, we've been to eat all of it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> Uncle Jared, it looked like he's going to have some for sale. Here in the next what week or two? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this weekend I'm gonna sell a load. This weekend, so yeah. well, well, where are you gonna be at? Where can people come and get these uh, awesome I'll sweet either melons? Be at the and Ice House and Logan Sport or at the Y and walk in. Y'all heard it, folks. 